I'm also a member of the Environmental Integrity Group and for the EIG, Observer is a very important element in the negotiations. And in Liechtenstein, uh, myself, we have very good relations with our observers and NGOs and we're always open to register them for sessions and they can always contact us and we were very willing to, to having them here. And for me personally, it's very important that international observers are present at the negotiations because they help me understanding their concerns and I think it's very important that they are present in the negotiations. Yeah, I would like to do that. So I represent an alpine country of 160 square kilometers and about a population of 38,000 people. So we are a very small country. But Liechtenstein takes its commitments under the uh, convention as well as under the Kyoto Protocol very serious. And we have two domestic measures to fulfill our commitment under the convention and under the Kyoto Protocol. They're called the CO2 and the energy law. And the result of the energy law is the energy strategy. And there we subsidize the exchange of fossil-based heating systems to renewable resources, as well as we promote the renovation of buildings and the energy efficiency. And the main measure of the CO2 Act is the CO2 levy. And this promotes the responsible use of fossil fuels for heating. So currently you pay about, no, you pay exactly 96 Swiss francs per tonne of CO2. This equals to about 80 euros or 96 dollars per tonne of CO2. And these measures, they show slow progress, but now I can uh, tell you, I'm very happy to tell you that. For, for the first time since we submitted our inventory, Liechtenstein reached its average minus 60% reduction goal domestically. So for this year uh, we reached our Kyoto target and another good example is that uh, we have some companies in Liechtenstein and they voluntarily offset their emissions. 